Well, it's spraying time again. So let's take a look at getting the tunnel sprayer out and ready for this season. And then we actually go spraying, as we'll be doing right now. So here we are again with the case 2140 and the hitch, unfortunately. I'm removing the original arms because they broke but they are also completely stuck so it's not completely a shame to take them out now let's get the other one mounted on that side so that way we have a brand new hitch so far as I restored these parts all last summer so they are like play free back there so if we got these installed then we're basically brand new Just a plug nozzle every now and then, but for a 29 year old machine, no complaints. It's to be expected that you get a plug nozzle every now and then, especially with pipe work that's almost 30 years old. Sometimes stuff just com comes loose which is stuck in there for a long while.
so we're in the field with the tunnel sprayer and we have a field of peers here and they have already had the blossom and they have leaves now and we can already see the peers which we're gonna harvest hopefully in September so that's all good news the thing is these trees should have a bit more peers and that is just because they are growing too fast and a fast growing pear tree means it produces less fruit as it's putting all its energy in its growth that's also the reason why we root cut them that's also with the deep ripping and thing we just ripped up roots which are deeper than our root runner can get to and now we also spray the trees so we can actually regulate the grow and then we just hope that the trees calm down so to say and they will produce more peers in the upcoming years we always have to be careful because if you regulate it too hard then it won't have energy anymore to produce peers so you always have to look for the sweet spot and not just do something to regulate it so let's hope this works out So we got an indicator here which is telling us how much fluid we have in the tank. We have sprayed with 250 liters a hectare and this was 0.8 hectare and we started with 250 liters. Now we have about 150 liters left and that's just all because it has the recycling capability. So we get a lot of fluid back into the tank which is really a bit money saver. 
Besides money, it also saves a lot for the environment, as the environment doesn't get the chemicals which otherwise would have dropped on the ground. So I think we're doing a good job with this prayer. Such a big machine on the road, and yet I can still see what behind me.